welcome back today i'm going to be showing y'all how i do my little bows like this i'm using a strip of fabric that is just a little under three inches you can probably do three inches um i just cut mine a little bit smaller to have it a little bit skinnier and then it is 12 inches long so to get started I'm going to take my strip and I'm going to fold it up like this and then I'm just going to iron that down. All right, after we have that ironed down, we are going to head over to our sewing machine. All right, so once we get to our machine, we are then going to sew down this short end and come down this long end about halfway. And then we're going to leave an open end and then we're going to do the same thing to the other end make sure that you leave about mm, a little under an inch in about the middle of this long piece right here leave an inch gap So after you get that done, you're going to have that little gap right there. You are then going to cut this excess off, but make sure that you don't hit your threads. After we get that excess cut off we're then going to flip it inside out so having a pencil around or something that you can stick in here a tube turner whatever you have will help you a lot I'm going to use my scissors I wouldn't recommend using your scissors if you do just be careful and be very gentle but I'm just going to Get that little piece out of that hole and pull it through. Make sure you get those corners out. And then we're going to get this other side out. you have these corners out and then we're going to take it back over to the iron and just iron this flat okay after you get that ironed you are then going to find that little opening that you left and we are going to stitch that closed We're then just going to cut these extra threads off. And then we are going to fold it. So, folding these bows, I like to fold them in half like this. And then I like to bring my middle down. like 
like this. Just so I know everything is even. And then I take this side and I fold it in half. And I take this other side and fold it in half too. So they're both going out. So both of the folds are like that. And then I'm going to take my right side and I'm going to take it behind and then back over through that hole. Well, if I can get it through there. And yes, it's going to look very hideous at this point. But trust the process. So, you're then going to take these parts and you're going to try to get them flat. But it's probably not going to work just yet. You're going to go, you're going to find one of these tails and you're going to figure out which way it needs to go to become straight. So it goes to this one and you're just going to make sure you hold on to this in the tail and just pull until it goes straight. And you can pull that tail to make it shorter. That way you don't lose what you got. And then the same thing for this one. So you see it's twisted. You just grab a hold of this and just kind of move it around making that flat. So then you're going to have an almost normal looking bow. Now you're just going to adjust everything until you get it how you like it. So you can pull this and it'll make that tail shorter. Or you can pull the tail to make the loops shorter. This is the part where you just kind of play around with it until you get it how you want it to look. I'm using poly woven for my base. But there you go. You just kind of have to play around with it once you get it tied. It's just a bunch of adjustment and moving. So here's what the front will look like. And then here's what the back will look like. So where you closed up should be hidden in the back. And then I'll show you how to put it on a nylon and a clip. Okay, so to get it on a clip, you would find your back and you would just slide your clip in this little loop right here. Just like that. And then for your nylon, you're going to have to put that on before you get it all tied up. So. You're gonna get your nylon, fold your pieces, have them all matched up, and then you're going to slide that nylon right there. Then you're gonna pinch it out, pinch this side out the right behind and through that loop. Oop. Go through that loop. Pull. And then you're going to do the same thing. So figure out where all your pieces are and just get them all straightened out.
then the front. So it's just like the other one. You just play around until you get your bow like you want. But that is how you would get your nylon on there for a nylon bow. So this tail is awkwardly long, but we will row with it. There we go. That helped a little. So I hope this helped. If y'all have any questions, please drop them below. I'll have everything linked in the description where to get the fabric, the clips, where to get materials and all that type of stuff will be all linked in the description. I used poly woven for my base. And these bows are about three inches wide and about two inches tall. So they're pretty tiny and I'm sure you could make them smaller if you cut down um, your strip, but here they are. I hope this helped. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all.